You've spoken about the clash that is emerging between Christianity and Islam. Uh, expand on, on what you're sensing there as, as a critical issue. Um, yes, that of course is a tremendous question right now, John, because uh, we're in a war that I think is going to go on for a hundred years. Uh, it's, we forget in the West, our memory, our institutional memory is very short, but we forget that from uh, 632 when Muhammad wrote the Quran until 1630-something uh, when the Ottoman Empire was defeated outside of Vienna, that Islam, which is a militant belief system, was in battle with Christianity. It's subsided over recent years, but uh, the Muslim nations, and particularly the radical Islamists, are no less aggressive today than they were through that thousand years when the West was in battle with them. What Osama bin Laden has done is simply to focus and give direction to the most radical elements in Islam, elements that believe that Allah can only be pleased when by jihad the infidels are destroyed, and that's us. It's everybody who isn't of their particular mind. It is a theocratic uh, belief system, Islam. It believes in not just a state church, but a church state. And so it doesn't advance like Christianity does. These are, these are radically different views of reality. Christianity advances by love, it advances by winning people over, it advances by the grace of God. Islam advances by force radical Islam. I could give you an hour's lecture on the elements of the elements of Islam that are motivating an Islamic history that are motivating is Osama bin Laden. Suffice it to say that there are thousands of terrorists around the world who are dedicated to our destruction. And 9-11 just woke us up to it. Mm -hmm. Up until then they'd, they'd already been aggressive for 10-15 years uh, in various parts of the world. We simply ignored it. We looked the other way. Then when they hit the World Trade Center and the Pentagon, we had no choice but to face it. But why is this important to the church? Because the church is the conscience of culture in America, because the church has a fundamentally different worldview uh, than Islam. And we've got to understand that we are contending and clashing with Islam all around the world for the hearts and minds of people up against biblical Christianity, which is what uh, it, the, moves the West primarily, has moved the West historically, against radical Islam. That's one of the great dialectical tensions of the day.